use the baby. Pink ice right there. Use the baby. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking. Damn. Damn, I should have used still. Yeah, baby. The only thing is like over I, here. Is this made in Taiwan or what? Fuck, I don't know. Is it made in Taiwan? Like it says, Tita Man product. Yeah, product it innovation. It says it over here, but it, yeah. it'll guarantee say it on the shop if you unravel it. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're back with another vlog. Probably seen those two LS vlogs. My LS430 running good after that time bell maintenance, and my coworker's LS430 with the coilover and stuff. Christopher's car is back. We're gonna change out the struts, some specialties. Check it out. Yeah, you know. We're just gonna go through, take out the back and jack this thing up. Um, swap these struts over real quick, so we'll be right back. We're gonna swap the airlifts for t Man struts. He got them second hand, but we kind of know, we don't really know the guy, but we know the guy on Instagram who used to own the struts and he didn't really use them. Sucks what happened to his LS because he had a nice LS, but he got a pretty good deal on them. He's got almost everything you need. Got like the aluminum lower body, the upgraded AL M22 lower mount. I don't know if he got the 20 millimeter shock, but I don't think you need the aluminum shock. I think he did get the upgraded aluminum shock and then it has the ADS piston. So we got the, the rear seat off and then we're gonna take out the recover and that way you can access the top hat. So I think you've never seen before. We gotta dial in the height because you want it to have the max lift and then you also want it to have the max low because you wanna um, have the best ride quality so the shot can stroke I guess. But, but yeah, these things will not have a problem lifting because they're triple bellow. One, two, three, and they're slim. So they got good um, inner clearance for not so aggressive offsets. So yeah, let's jack this car up and get the stock ones out. Yeah, these fucking airlift, surprisingly, is kind of worn out. So check your bags, guys, because damn, the quality on these bags, you can feel the difference. I mean, Obviously, t man is way more expensive, but this thing is pretty stiff and like it feels thick versus this. This shit is fucking like this is the same pressure applied versus this. <laughs> yeah. Our second problem is we have different fittings, so we gotta go get the correct fitting size for this bag. But we can still install it in the car, which we'll do right now. Guys, I'm just going over and making sure everything's tight before I throw it in. Because this top nut was loose and then this top hat wasn't centered so I just centered it and then made sure that nut was tight. But like I said, we're not going to finish this tonight because we have to go find the fitting. Then actually for the other ones, the fronts, I don't know what the fuck they did but obviously this is second hand. But they stripped the allens inside the top hat right here. So we got to buy new um, bolts for that. So. Alright guys, that's going to be it for today. Sorry I didn't show much but tomorrow we'll continue it. Today was kind of just like a feel out what we got to do. Um, some minor stuff we got to do. We got to find the fitting because it's a different thread pitch on the air springs, which I kind of figured because one is like Japanese made and one is like probably made in Taiwan. But yeah, so we got this height in. We almost got it dialed in to the right height where you want to have the most um, lift possible and you want to have the max low and the best ride quality. So you don't want your shit to be all slammed and then when you air it up, it doesn't go that high or um it rides not the best it can because the shock doesn't have as much travel but yeah we're gonna see how these things ride kind of wanted to see for a while now um good thing chris forgot them so we're gonna see how they ride on full tina mat suspension and these are the ads piston versions so supposedly they're supposed to be able to stay stiff when you're riding low but is also a smooth ride that's what they claim so yeah we're gonna call it a night we got all struts out Anybody wants to buy them, Christopher is going to sell them, but there's a couple people local who are interested, so we'll see if they get sold. Now we're going to go out to eat now. That's it for today. All the struts are out, and tomorrow we'll try and get it finished up, and then probably dial in a little bit more camber. I think he said he wants to go like, what are you going to go, like negative two more all the way around? Maybe, yeah. Maybe like get to like 16, 17 all around maybe. Yeah, when the thing laying out, so. 
yeah so and he's gonna throw the SSRs back so yeah we'll probably figure that out but that's it see you guys tomorrow hi guys welcome back this is day two of this installation we're gonna try get the struts in the all the right height good um, I have the fittings for the struts we got the correct ones well we could have actually we couldn't have reused the other ones because it was a different size plus these ones are better they're the correct size and they're better so yeah I actually forgot it at work so I gotta go grab it but yeah we're gonna try just get the ride height good dialed in and then probably do some camera adjustments see how far we can make it and then we just gotta check clearances make sure nothing's rubbing but yeah, let's get it started. This first top control arm is maxed in, so we can't get any more camera on the top side. So we're gonna have to kick out the lowers a little bit, which will push the track wider. It'll have more camera, but front is gonna look more aggressive. I think he has a lot of clearance, so I think we'll be able to do it. These SSRs that he's gonna throw back on, it's not as aggressive as the T7R, so I guess it'll do better for it because it'll Give the illusion of a more aggressive wheel when you push the bottoms out. So yeah, let's adjust that real quick and slap the struts in. Alright guys, that looks like it's all the way down. And we got the right height, the lift height kind of dialed in. This is actually almost, it's cranked pretty high on the coilover itself, or the bag itself. You'll be able to run more air. And I think the rod quality will be better, that way the shot can have a full stroke and compression and rebound so yeah we're gonna try at this height it looks like there's all clearance is good when it's aired all the way out and then try adjust the camera a little bit tweak this rim a little bit we'll try push it out because we got a little bit of room to play so yeah we'll see really vlog because i was trying to I really rush and get it done but we tried to crank out the fronts a little bit more to add a little bit more camera but it didn't pan out because the tie rod is almost max adjust and the threads were like hanging on by threads literally <laughs> so we couldn't get the toe in spec so we're gonna leave it as is uh, maybe we'll try to figure it out later plus two the only way you could add camera on this setup like I said earlier is from the lowers because the top is maxed out if he wanted more, he would go short to knuckle and add negative camber. Um, I think the max you can get is like negative five short knuckle. But then it throws all your wheel fitment out of spec, out of whack. And then it actually improves bag clearance though. If you go negative five degrees on your short knuckle, adding negative camber. But yeah, I gotta try to see if they have a longer tie rod and for the stuff i know i've seen some guys they extend the inner tie rods we got the backs done the fittings are in i forgot to show you guys but yeah it's just i'll show you guys in the front the compression fittings that we used uh, the lines are all routed correctly check clearances we're able to push in the bag setup that way the wheel is not hitting the um bag rubbing on the bag anymore it was kind of rubbing but that's because it's um not enough uh, negative offset to push the wheel out away from it but yeah the fitment's already tight so it's not like you could go anymore but yeah the rear is pretty much buttoned up and then I just gotta work on the fronts tomorrow um, redial the other side that we adjusted and then put the fittings and tuck everything to spec on the other side and it will be will be gravy tomorrow so see you guys tomorrow yeah baby Friday let's go oh. hi guys day three we're gonna try to dial this in. We're gonna finish up the fronts. The rear, as I said, is pretty much done. So we just gotta tighten up the stuff in the front and then double check clearance in the front. And we should be good to go. And then we're gonna lower it down, air it up and down, and you know, the regular stuff. So, yes, sir. All right, guys, that's how it looks. Got this side finished up. You gotta check like turning clearance after. I'm gonna do the other side first. So I don't wanna have anything rubbing when it's like full lock or turning. So I had to check that too. Going up and down, the air hose is good. Uh, nothing's um, kinking it or anything. And it goes up and down smoothly. So yeah, this side is pretty much buttoned up. So let's go to the other side, finish that up. And then let's get this thing on the ground. There it is, the other side is done. 
I just gotta torque, adjust the caster a little bit and the toe. I guess I gotta just double check the when it's full lock. Make sure the wheel is not touching anything. All right, pretty sure it's done. Um, put on the knobs because this thing didn't come with a knob, so I'm gonna give Christopher a mine. T the man actually gave me extra ones, so I'm gonna let him use mine. Then we're gonna dial in the dampening, but I'm gonna let it calibrate real quick. Uh, these are the knobs I was talking about. I don't know if you can see it. These are the dampening knobs because they didn't come with it. I mean, it was used, but I had extra. My, mine's are purple with my coilovers and they gave me extra black ones when I bought my coilovers. Yeah, so we're gonna adjust the dampening, figure out the ride height, and then probably try to take it for a test drive. Yeah, because he didn't even know what it was. All right, we got it done. Put the chair in. Now he's just gonna dial in the ride height, the PSI's, and you can take it for a spin, see how it goes. I hope it goes low. Ah! <laughs> All right, guys, he's driving around. He took it up heights, up the road, actually, because the roads up there are kind of shitty, so I'll take it through its paces, see how it rides. But he took it around the block. He said it rides pretty good. So we'll see what the verdict is when he comes back from that. A little bit longer test drive. Here for a test drive and hit some good bumps, but at that ride height, I'm pretty impressed with the quality of the ride. So, to be honest, if you can afford it, I would recommend Tiedemann bags. So, I like, I mean, he does have full suspension too, so it kind of helps with like versus stock bushings, but. If you guys fucking do a full setup, man, the ride quality on this thing is pretty impressive. That's it for this install. See you guys in the next one, but let's get a few words from CP. God damn. Hey. Oh, you've been riding high, bro. What's the impressions? Fucking T-Demand, baby, over everything. Oh. Oh.